St. Paul uses a kind of a, an analogy of, of fruit, you know, like, like a way that, that a tree either bears good fruit or bad fruit, you know, for those that, you know, some of you out there love to garden and stuff like that. I mean, you know, if, if you don't take care of the bush or the tree, most likely it's going to give you a bad fruit unless you're just really bad at gardening. Uh, or maybe even the conditions that maybe are out of your control also were bad. But, you know, so St. Paul applies this to uh, today's first reading from Galatians as we start to close out Galatians. You know, the fruits of the Spirit and the fruits of those that aren't in the Spirit. And you got to remember with fruits, the fruits are the, the consequences, the results of either a relationship in Christ and the Spirit or of not. You know, so in one respect, when you look at the fruits or the bad fruits, you have to look at what's causing either the bad fruits or the good fruits. So it's a way of examining, how do you feel right now? Are you filled with anger and hatred and jealousy and drinking bouts? I like the fact that Mary Lou said orgies. I thought that was pretty funny. So uh, that's one of the examples that he gives. You know, keep in mind the, the Greek Roman culture. That was some of that stuff was prominent then. Or is it you find yourself peaceful, joyful, patient, gentle, faithful? You know, where do you find yourself? Because if I, if you're like me, you, you kind of bounce back and forth between the two. Some days, you know, the tree, there's great fruit on it and you feel great. And you feel patient and all that stuff. And other days, there's just outbursts of fury, <laughs> you know, jealousy, selfishness, dissensions, factions. As I reverenced the altar this morning, and, and you know, I'll just be straight out with you. I kind of had a bad day yesterday, um, you know, so, uh, you know, not to get into it, but I was, you know, I was filled with a lot of anger yesterday, especially last night. But as I reverenced the altar this morning, just this thought came to me that really the best thing that I have is God. And as I read that, that opening entrance antiphon, you know, Lord, if you mark our iniquities, who can stand? But if you found, is found in forgiveness. And that was just very, very comforting to me. God is the best thing that I have going for me. My faith is the best thing that I have right now. It's great. What a father that we have. You know? And so the more that you live in that, the more that you can set aside those, those feelings of jealousy and hatred that, you know, you recognize that you're there. But the more that you relate those to God, I think the, the quicker that those good fruits of love and joy and peace and patience and kindness, they come to you. What a God that we have. He's great. I mean, really, who wants to live like the stuff of the flesh? Who wants to live like that? You know, who wants to live like that? We want to live the spirit. When you, when you tell people, what if your life is filled with love, joy, and peace, and kindness, and generosity, and gentleness, and self-control? I think the majority of people will say, yeah, that's what I want. That's what I want. God can give that to you. God can water that. God can nurture that. Jesus Christ, the Spirit. That's the type of God that we have. May God bless you.